High blood pressure. Does it lead to heart attack? High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a condition in which the force of blood against the walls of arteries is consistently too high. Blood pressure is measured using two numbers, systolic pressure, the pressure when the heart beats, and diastolic pressure, the pressure when the heart is at rest between beats. A blood pressure reading of 120/80 of a millimeter of mercury or lower is considered normal, while a reading of 140/90 of a millimeter of mercury or higher is considered high. High blood pressure can damage blood vessels and organs over time, increasing the risk of serious health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Often, people with high blood pressure do not experience any symptoms, which is why it is sometimes called the silent killer. Regular blood pressure checks are important for detecting and managing high blood pressure. How is blood pressure measured? Blood pressure is measured using a device called a sphygmomanometer. This device consists of a cuff that is wrapped around the upper arm and connected to a gauge that shows the pressure readings. The process of measuring blood pressure typically involves the following steps. The person having their blood pressure measured should sit or lie down in a quiet and relaxed environment for at least five minutes before the test. The cuff is wrapped around the upper arm and inflated to a pressure higher than the expected systolic pressure. The pressure in the cuff is then gradually released, and the healthcare provider listens for the sounds of blood flow using a stethoscope. The pressure at which the first sound is heard is the systolic pressure, and the pressure at which the sound disappears is the diastolic pressure. The measurements are recorded as two numbers, with the systolic pressure listed first and the diastolic pressure second. Blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day, so it is recommended to measure it at different times and on different days to get an accurate picture of a person's blood pressure. How high is too high? Blood pressure is considered too high when it consistently reads at or above 140/90 of a millimeter of mercury. However, it is important to note that blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day, and a single high reading does not necessarily mean that a person has hypertension. In order to diagnose high blood pressure, Healthcare providers will typically take multiple readings on different days and consider a person's overall health and medical history. Some individuals, such as those with diabetes or kidney disease, may have lower blood pressure targets. Additionally, blood pressure readings that are significantly higher than normal may require immediate medical attention, as they can indicate a medical emergency such as hypertensive crisis. Anyone can develop high blood pressure, but there are certain factors that increase the risk of developing the condition. It's also more common in people who are older than 55, overweight, inactive, heavy alcohol drinkers, smokers, and African American. If you eat foods high in salt, or use medications like NSAIDs such as ibuprofen and aspirin, decongestants, and illicit drugs such as cocaine, you also have a higher chance of getting high blood pressure. Anyone can develop high blood pressure regardless of age, gender, or ethnicity and that regular blood pressure checks are important for early detection and management of the condition. What is essential hypertension? Also known as primary hypertension, is the most common type of high blood pressure, accounting for about 90% of all cases. It is called, essential, because the exact cause of the condition is not known, and it typically develops gradually over time. Several factors are believed to contribute to the development of essential hypertension, including genetics, lifestyle factors, and environmental factors. People with a family history of high blood pressure are more likely to develop the condition themselves, and lifestyle factors such as a diet high in salt and saturated fat, physical inactivity, smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption can also increase the risk of developing essential hypertension. Although the exact cause of essential hypertension is unknown, treatment typically involves lifestyle modifications such as exercising regularly, eating a healthy diet, reducing salt intake, and maintaining a healthy weight, as well as medication if necessary. What is secondary hypertension? Secondary hypertension is a type of high blood pressure that is caused by an underlying medical condition or certain medications. Unlike essential hypertension, which develops gradually over time and has no known cause, secondary hypertension has a specific underlying cause that can be identified and treated. Some medical conditions that can cause secondary hypertension include kidney disease, adrenal gland disorders, thyroid problems, sleep apnea, and certain congenital heart defects. Medications such as birth control pills, decongestants, and certain antidepressants can also cause secondary hypertension. Treatment for secondary hypertension typically involves addressing the underlying cause of the condition.
This may involve treating the medical condition that is causing the high blood pressure or switching to a different medication. In some cases, lifestyle modifications and medication may also be necessary to help manage the high blood pressure. How is high blood pressure treated? High blood pressure can be managed and treated through a combination of lifestyle modifications and medication. Treatment goals may vary depending on the severity of the condition, the presence of other medical conditions, and individual factors such as age and overall health. Lifestyle modifications. These include changes to diet, exercise habits, and other lifestyle factors. Recommended modifications include eating a healthy diet low in salt, saturated fat, and cholesterol. Engaging in regular physical activity, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. Maintaining a healthy weight, limiting alcohol consumption, and quitting smoking. Medications. There are several types of medications that can help lower blood pressure. The most common types of medication include Diuretics. Help the body eliminate excess salt and water, reducing the amount of fluid in the blood vessels and lowering blood pressure. ACE inhibitors. Block the action of angiotensin II, a hormone that causes blood vessels to narrow, resulting in a decrease in blood pressure. Calcium channel blockers. Relax the muscles in the blood vessels, causing them to widen and allowing blood to flow more easily, resulting in a decrease in blood pressure. Beta blockers. Reduce the heart rate and decrease the force of heart contractions, resulting in a decrease in blood pressure. Monitoring and follow-up. It is important for people with high blood pressure to have regular checkups with their healthcare provider to monitor their blood pressure and ensure that their treatment plan is effective. How can you prevent high blood pressure? There are several steps you can take to prevent high blood pressure or reduce your risk of developing the condition. Maintain a healthy weight, exercise regularly, follow a healthy diet, reduce sodium intake, limit alcohol consumption, quit smoking, and manage stress. By making these healthy lifestyle choices, you can help reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure and improve your overall health. Does HIGHBLOOD pressure leads to heart attack? High blood pressure is a significant risk factor for heart attacks. When the force of blood against the walls of the arteries is consistently high, it can cause damage to the walls of the arteries over time. This damage can lead to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which can narrow the arteries and reduce blood flow to the heart. This condition, known as coronary artery disease, can increase the risk of a heart attack or other cardiovascular complications. High blood pressure can also lead to other conditions that increase the risk of heart attack such as stroke, heart failure, and peripheral artery disease. Therefore, it is important to manage high blood pressure to reduce the risk of heart attack and other cardiovascular complications.